If you want to travel between Southern California and Las Vegas and not fly, you take the I-15 freeway and drive across the Mojave Desert. Without traffic, it's about a four-hour trip, but it can be much longer and grueling in weekend and holiday congestion. But in four years, there's supposed to be another transportation option to Sin City available, a high-speed train streaking across the desert, connecting the outer suburbs of LA to the Vegas Strip. Here's how the company behind the project, Brightline West, pitches it to the public. Introducing Brightline West, America's first true high-speed train that's ushering in a new era of modern travel. From the lights of Las Vegas, to the beaches of Southern California. Brightline West will connect two of the world's most iconic destinations in just two hours by soaring at 200 miles per hour. Welcome to the ride reimagined. Welcome to Brightline West. The company's electrically powered trains will travel on tracks located in the existing median of the I-15. That's made it easier for Brightline to get environmental and right-of-way permits and should help with the speed of construction. The train's Vegas station will be on a 33-acre site on Las Vegas Boulevard. The California terminus will be in Rancho Cucamonga, about 40 miles east of downtown Los Angeles, but connected to LA via commuter rail. The official groundbreaking for the $12 billion project took place in Las Vegas this week, with local and federal officials in attendance. $3 billion in direct federal infrastructure funds is going to help pay for the project. That's one of the biggest infusions of federal funding into a privately developed passenger transportation project in U.S. history. The Biden administration says it's worth the investment to help make American high-speed rail a reality as other countries rocket forward with bullet train projects of their own. This is a big day for American transportation. It's a big day for the United States. I think so many Americans have traveled abroad, seen what true high-speed rail is like, come back and said, why can't we have nice things like this? And the people behind the SoCal to Vegas line do have a record when it comes to fast trains. In Florida, Brightline West's sister company built and now operates a train connecting Miami and Orlando, traveling at speeds of up to 125 miles an hour. Brightline says its California and Nevada train will be up and running in time for a big global event, the 2028 Summer Olympics in L.A. I'm Saul Gonzalez.